little Swifties. Welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today is my very unbirthday because my real birthday is on July 26th. <laughs> so I knew I had to make a birthday cake soap. I make one, if not yearly, like every other year. They always sell really well. People just like birthday cake as a fragrance in soap. I've also learned that they like it as a fragrance in sugar scrub, body lotion, and like whipped soap. Like that's just a fragrance people love. So I'm putting one out there based on these photos. Have you seen a lot of these cakes recently? Because they take me right back to my childhood. More, The more frosting, the better. Like people are globbing the frosting. And as someone who doesn't really like the taste of frosting, I just have to say it's so pretty. It's these, look at them. It's so pretty. So this soap is very much inspired by this aesthetic style. We should make a cake out of soap that looks like this. We should do that. I wonder how hard that would be. I don't know, love finds a way. I'll find a way to make it happen. <laughs> anyway, let's make our birthday cake soap. <laughs> Okay, I've had to make a few adjustments for this soap, right? Because we're going to be adding some confetti into it and the confetti is actually made out of soap too. So these are just some little soap curls that we grated up. I have about eight ounces in here, which I find is a really nice ratio in a soap. And because we're adding this, it displaces some of my oil. So if it looks low in my container, that's because it is. It's a special whittle batch. So I am just gonna pour this right in. And thank goodness Caleb did all the math for me on this because I would be lost. I mean, realistically, I could probably figure it out. I know I could figure it out, but it would take me a lot longer than him. I'm gonna blend this up. Okay, that looks really good. Now I'm gonna pour off my layers. I'm gonna have two layers of cake and one layer of frosting in the middle. Here goes layer number one. Also, you see this texture, it looks kind of like applesauce, right? But I haven't added my fragrance oil. This can happen for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's because your room is cold. I find that it mainly has to do with my oils being cold. So if you're working with cold lye water and cold oil, this can happen a lot easier and it just needs a little extra blending. That's all. It's not going to ruin your batch, but I wouldn't want to pour it into my mold like this. I'd want to blend it until smooth. So now I'm going to add some 24 karat gold mica and I'm going to scrape all that out. And I'm also going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide. Now this is going to give the soap a really lovely, like fresh baked vanilla cake look. And then I'm going to add in my fragrance. So this is like an almond macaron smell. It is so exquisite. Okay, let's get this first layer blended. Perfect. Okay, so we've got that little vanilla cake look going on. It's white with just a hint of warmth. So just a little bit of brown. That's why I use that 24 karat gold. And now we get to add the fun stuff. Let's add our eight ounces of confetti and we are gonna stir this up. This is gonna be so satisfying to see it all get incorporated. Yes, delicious. And once I feel like everything is really evenly distributed, we can start to pour this into our molds. That looks really good. Let's pour. All right, start by pouring about half of this in. Doesn't really matter when I pour because this is basically all the same all the way through. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it pretty straight. Kind of like a real cake. Like you don't mind if it's a little bit lumpy, but you want it mostly straight for the stacking portion. All right, let's go ahead and pour our pink frosting layer in. <laughs> yes! So all of those like adorable, super, super decorated cakes that are trending on TikTok right now are totally what inspired me to do this. Those were my favorite type of cakes in the 90s. 
like with the little cherries and the frosting on the sides of the cake. They've made little frog ones now. Like it's all so adorable. That is totally what this soap reminds me of. Perfect. All right, final layer. And I am going to be pretty gentle ladling this on. I think that middle layer is set up, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, looks like it is. That's good. <laughs> Okay, stop. This is gonna be so cute. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go mix up the frosting and we'll be back and we'll frost the top and put my little maraschino cherry embeds on and all the glitter and it's gonna be amazeballs. Now, you may not be able to tell, but this is actually a two-toned pink and it's very, I mean, the difference is very minimal because basically what I was trying to do was make it look more dimensional by having a darker color and then a slightly contrasting one. So when you cut it, you'll be able to tell the difference, but it won't be huge. I just want it to look even more, I guess, robust. I don't know what word I'm looking for right now. <laughs> It looks positively edible. Man. Ooh, this is kind of drippy. <laughs> I really thought it was a lot firmer, but I think it was really firm on the top of my batch and I should have checked all the way down to the bottom, but that's okay. We'll let this first layer sit up before I do the next one. Also, I haven't 100% decided how I'm going to do the top. I have some ideas and I have some glitters off to the side, but besides the little maraschino cherry embed, I'm a little unsure how I'm gonna decorate it. We might try a couple of different things and see how we feel. Boo boo. Honestly, this pink is like the perfect Barbie pink. I had to mix a couple of different colors to get it, but it really is like the perfect Barbie pink. And speaking of Barbie, I am so excited about the new Barbie movie. You know, this video is going up uh, a day before my birthday. And my plan for my birthday is to go see the new Barbie movie with my sisters. And yeah, so I'm so excited. But let me tell you, I already made a TikTok about this, but if you don't follow me on TikTok, then you don't know that. Um, I made a Barbie collection. I believe it was two years ago. I called it Girl World. It had my heart and soul poured into it. Okay, let's turn these real quick before I put the final dollop on. Anyway, worst selling collection I've made in the past three to four years. Like the sales were so bad, we wondered if there had been a fluke on the website. Like that's how awful they were. It has gone down in royalty soaps history. Like who just praying this month isn't another Barbie month, which is like now all I have is negative associations with Barbie soap. And now I'm seeing all these other soap makers and small businesses making Barbie things. And I literally did it two years ago and it was my worst selling collection ever. And I'm never gonna get over this y'all. And so many people told me, they're like, Katie, you should be happy. You were ahead of the trend. You're just a trendsetter. But I wasn't, I wasn't a trendsetter. Like it took two years for them to release a Barbie movie. Okay, but look here. I'm going to add in some of this. Look at this. This is from Fizz Fairy. Look at this eco glitter. Like tell me that doesn't match just perfectly. I'm going to add a little of that onto the top. Sprinkle it out just like so. I'm also going to take some of these little confetti shavings and I'm going to add them onto one of these soaps because I think it looks like sprinkles. Let's see how it looks tomorrow. We can honestly make even smaller shavings. But yeah, that kind of looks like sprinkles. I'm kind of obsessed with that. Ugh, it's it's so cute. Okay, sprinkles it is for this side too. I'm not gonna add very many of them, but it looks so good, I cannot ignore. Okay, this is a great start. I'm really loving how this looks. Let's add a tiddly bit of hollow glitter, just for fun. We don't need that much, just to, just to add some rainbows on top. And speaking of rainbows on top, let's add a little bit of the Good Glitter's Roy G. Biv blend. This is like all of the colors that they have 
have all blended up a little bit of gold yeah that looks great that looks like even more little um little sprinkles on top anyway i love barbie it's not her fault i clearly just picked the wrong month i also released it in october and i feel like that might have been part of the problem people were really asking for fall soaps and i delayed my fall collection to do the barbie one and that may have been a fatal mistake it should have been probably that i released barbie in the summer because it was really summery smells and stuff but live and learn so many people were like just make another one girl i cannot risk that <laughs> i absolutely cannot risk it i might make like one or two soaps for funsies but we're not doing like whole collections like that again i i, I will never do that again i am so burnt <laughs> Okay, let's add our little soapy gumballs on top. I'm gonna add the first one and make sure that I get it placed exactly right. Screaming, this looks so good. I feel like I'm gonna be weird on my birthday this year. Most of the time I'm happy. I have had a couple of birthdays where I just have to do the annual birthday cry. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be an annual birthday cry year. I don't know, I've done a lot of growing in 2023 and then I get really weird and reflective on my birthday and I'm like, wow, I can't believe I'm this old. What, are, what am I doing? <laughs> if someone distracts me from dawn till dusk, I'll probably be fine. Okay, last one here. <gasps> it looks so scrumdiddly umptious. Okay, I do think I need some more of that Roy G. Biv on the sides, cause it's really good on the top, but I'm missing a little on the sides here. Oh, I'm so happy. This looks so good. It also smells so good. It doesn't smell gross because sometimes you get like cake smells and you're like, that would have been good in a candle girl, but that does not belong in a soap. This this is not one of those smells, okay? <laughs> This is a good almond smell for sure. Okay, I'm obsessed. Let's spritz the top and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll cut it all up. I know it's gonna be good. And thank goodness that fragrance oil performed well, but it looks so yummy, yummy. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll split up these soaps and yeah, take a peek at the inside. A uh, very, very um birthday to me. <laughs> Doesn't this look scrumptious? Like the next day I'm pulling this out and I'm like, that does legitimately look just like a birthday cake. I couldn't be more pleased. Okay, I think everybody's gonna be safe from the slicer. Very careful, very, very, very careful. I just, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute, look at it. Oh, I love it like straight straight to my shower these i'm i just oh my gosh i would keep these in stock all year round again they've got sort of an almond kind of birthday cakey fragrance in them but they won't discolor they'll look like this little bit of cherry little bit of almond little bit of birthday cake without being too overwhelming or kind of like a sickly sweet butter smell because that is my like among my least favorite fragrances for soap is like a nasty birthday cake smell look at how cute cute this is. Ah! And they match my birthday party nails. I literally picked nails that would match this soap. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did do exactly that. <laughs> The question of the day is, when is the best time of year to have a birthday? One, I can start off by telling you not the best time of year. <laughs> December, not the best time of year. Caleb's birthday is December 18th. It's always right in the middle of the 12 days of Soapmas and it's literally a week before Christmas. So people always just buy him one gift and make it count for both instead of treating him like a very special somebody that he is and getting two presents, one for birthday, one for Christmas. So I would say not ideal. <laughs> December. However, as a July baby, I will say it depends on where you live because if I lived in Kauai right now, <gasps> July would be the absolutely perfect time to have a birthday because it would feel so nice outside. In Texas, it's too hot. It's just, you go outside and you die. I think it's gonna be 102 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And thank goodness for air conditioning. But still, like that's abysmal. Nobody even wants to live during that sort of heat. <laughs> 
So best time to have a birthday. Let me know in the comments below. Now, come on. Like, it's so good. The smell gets better as I've cut it. Like, as I've cut it and it sat for a while, it just continues to get even better and more like marshmallowy. Ugh. And the confetti bits, like, please, please, with the nails, please. <laughs> Obsessed. Going into my shower immediately. If you want one, you can get one at our party era release. Why is it called the party era? I actually let somebody on Instagram pick that name and then I sent them a Starbucks card to thank them uh, for picking such a great name, <laughs> which I do occasionally. So you should follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe here on YouTube. This is the party. The rest is the Taylor Swift. We've gone through all of her eras together. I'm currently in my birthday girl era. It just, it's all melded so seamlessly. So yeah, if you want to grab a bar, it'll be at the release with the rest of my Taylor Swift inspired soaps. And uh, be sure you do something fun for yourself today. Like, I don't know, maybe you want to try your hand at frosting. Here's a tip from someone who has been frosting soap a really long time. If you ever want to try frosting soaps, frost cakes first. In fact, you could do like cupcakes. Start with a type of frosting that isn't corrosive. <laughs> Just do something fun for yourself today, okay? Go see the Barbie movie, get yourself some popcorn. Maybe you wanna go to Cinemark and get the limited edition Barbie cup. Have an absolutely royal day. I'll see you guys in the next Taylor Swift video. Which soap, which by the way, it is actually a Taylor Swift soap. This one was a birthday one. The next one will be Taylor Swift. Guesses down below. You got any guesses what it's gonna be? Let me know. Okay, bye.